doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. Today we are taking a look at LOL Surprise OMG Fears. It feels like it has been a minute since I've done an OMG video. Well, if you don't count the minis. These caught my eye because the girls got a makeover and they're larger. I bought this doll at Target for $36.99 along with a few others. Here is Royal B, Swag, and Lady Diva. Kinda loving the box art. They are definitely fierce with a whole lot of attitude. Ooh, we got some pictures at the bottom that we can totally cut out and put in our dollhouse. Wait a minute, it says open here. Oh no, it's peripherated going right through the pictures. <sighs> Man, that could have easily been placed up here. Respect the box art, man. We could choose to open it from the side to take the items out. Then we can cut the little autographed pictures out. However, some still may end up with a line. Let's take a look at some of the things she came with, like a hairbrush wrapped in tissue paper. We have a pair of sunglasses on a chain. It looks like the chain is removable. And the last thing is a poster. Look at that, and it's pretty large. On the back, you can see all four girls. They are the same assigned pictures, so maybe that's why they didn't care about the back of the box. But still, these are minis. They come with a large doll stand that has two different waist brackets underneath, giving you options for size. Out of the box, the doll comes fully dressed, wearing a white bucket hat with black stitching. It says OMG across the top. She has large gold colored earrings that say swag. Are they removable? Yes, yes they are. I like the little eyebrow detail. We have some little dots on the side of her makeup there, a beauty mark. She has a different eye shape from traditional OMG dolls. I like it. It does look like their heads are about the same size. However, the OMG Fierce doll is a lot taller. Standing at about 12 inches tall, not including the stand. No box hair here. Her braids look pretty good right out of the box. They're pretty soft and have a little bit of a curl to them, or more like a wave. We can remove the hat. Her hair is pulled up on top with a little ponytail, and there are two braids in the front, like the braids are braided. She has painted edges. Y'all, I'm kind of loving her. She's wearing some necklaces with a little bear on the end. Loving the bear. She has a gold colored watch, and if you look really close, it says OMG swag. Oh, the details. She has on a red outfit with white ribbon, gold zipper details down the sides, a gold fabric belt that can be removed. Oh wait, it has little laces in the back. So does that mean it's a corset? There's gold buckles on this red tunic-like thing. Underneath, she has a white and black outfit with netting. It says extra on the chest. The print is pulled just a little, and it says OMG LOL on her lower half. She wears tall boots with the knees cut out, lots of painted details. Look at that, look at that. And she comes with a bag that can open. Yes. Oops, did I just break it? No, no, false alarm. It can just snap right back in. Yo, I was about to lose it. I'm talking Captain Picard flashbacks all over again. Let's talk articulation. She has movement at the head, really good rotation there. There is movement at the shoulder. She can bend at the elbow. These joints are a little tight. She can bend at the wrist and rotate. Move at the hip. Bend at the knee, we have a knee joint. Yes! I am not a fan of bend and snap knees or click knees. I know some of you like it and please continue to do so. They're just not my favorite. And is that an ankle? Take some notes, Rainbow High. Oh wait, 
I take that back. It's not like a joint. I, oh, okay. I feel like I'm missing something. Let me know in the comments down below. Something tells me this is for later use, like they'll have changeable feet or something. While we're here, we might as well do a does the fit fit. London will be joining us today. I couldn't get the top to fit, but the bottoms are a yes. We were able to get most of the other items to fit the Barbie. It is giving some superhero vibes. There's a little space in those boots, but you can do it if you want. Here's the white and black outfit on a rainbow high doll. The top fits just fine. However, the corset is a stretch. Got a partial closure back there. I didn't want to take the chance of ripping it. And I was not able to get on the boots. But the hat kind of works. But you know what? I might just let Swag keep her look. What? Has the world gone mad? No. I'm just saying I like the doll. Make it bold, make it buzz. Royal B, make it boss. Right out of the box, she has long golden brown hair. There is a little product in it in the front. The curls in the back might need a little attention to just define them. They're not squished. I just have lots of loose hairs. Her hair is braided on top. It reminds me of a crown. She has painted baby hair large gold earrings, gold eyeshadow, glitter lips. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of glitter on my dolls, but I do like the color. She's wearing gold and black, a gold necklace with bee details, little beehives on her shoulders, a bee bracelet. Check that out, she has little chains. There's a gold honeycomb print on her top. It fans out to the sides with gold ribbon. She has a large belt with a gold buckle, a working clasp. Look at that, that's pretty cool. The belt is attached to a gold skirt. She has full leather black shorts with gold stitches and gold details around the bottom. These shorts are pretty cute. They got little belt loops. These are stitched on pockets, they're not real. But the pocket in the back is a working pocket. She wears black gloves. She has a black bodysuit with gold trim. It does have a little stomach cut out and there's mesh behind it. She wears black and gold knee highs and has black and gold shoes. A black and gold purse that opens a black and gold doll stand, a gold hairbrush, and B sunglasses. Yep, they're B wings. Here is her top and shorts on rainbow high. I can't close it completely in the back. The top is not working for me on a classic Barbie. However, the shorts work pretty good. I could even get the shorts on a curvy, but I couldn't close it in the back. I think Royal B is pretty cute. The shorts are my favorite piece. I love the belt, but I could do without the skirt. But then again, that's just a personal preference. And check out those nails. Love them. Make it daring, make it dazzling, make it drama, Lady Diva. Out of the box, those curls are intact. Her hair is styled in four long curls. Mine are pretty good right out of the box. I'm talking no box hair. But for me, there's a little product in the front. So we'll have to wash that out. Oh wait, there's some in the back too. Pink eyeshadow, pink lips, painted edges, a snake earring on one side and a mic on the other. She wears a pink metallic necklace, has a faux fur scarf or wrap, a mesh sleeve, an animal print top, a pink belt with silver details. It's pretty easy to remove and it says Lady Diva. She has a pink and black purse. It says LOL OMG. And yes, it can open. She has pink nails, a black skirt with silver stitching, shiny pink boot covers with stirrups and boots. They have silver stitching in the back and clear elastic that hold them to the bottom of the shoes. The shoes match the purse and have a little horn in the back. She wears a bodysuit with cutouts on the sides. The animal print shirt underneath is separate. I am kind of scared I'll never be able to get these back on again. I don't know. We'll see. 
My Rainbow High doll can fit the bodysuit. However, you can see her painted undies underneath. Yep, the skirt fits. However, the boot covers are a little long. We can force the bathing suit on a Barbie, but I'm not loving it. They can fit the skirt, but those pink boot covers, once again, are a little long. Look at that. I got them back on. She also comes with a doll stand, a second earring, and sunglasses. Oh, and a brush. Out of the dolls released, these are the ones that I chose to get. And I'll just wait for Neonlicious to go on sale. I am pleasantly surprised with OMG Fierce. They feel like a combination of OMG and Bratz. I like the new articulation and the added height. Let us know what you think about these dolls in the comments down below. Are they a buy or a pass? Thank you for joining us while we took a look at OMG Fierce, Swag, Royal B, and Lady Diva and tried their clothes on other dolls to see if the fit fits. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.